Now, good afternoon, YouTube. Had a couple of viewer requests to follow up on my Breville 870XL cleaning videos. So, I, in the earlier videos, I'd focused on cleaning the group set and then doing the descaling, also cleaning the uh, coffee grinder up here. And one step I didn't mention was cleaning the exterior of the unit. And I do that in two separate steps. One is the drip tray down here. Since it fills up on its own schedule, it's not tied to the clean me light like the rest of the cleaning is done. So when the drip tray fills up, what you can do is slide that out. And you can always get a little coffee underneath. You've got the cover, the grill here, or grid, whatever you want to call that. And then the way this works is your excess coffee grounds usually get trapped by this. You can take this part off and, of course, dump that out. If you put that in your garden or in the garbage, and then you get your excess water down there. What you can do is rinse this out. I'll try that. Yeah, so usually what I'll do is rinse this out and give it a quick brush, but it's really hard to get, you know, all of the coffee residue off of all the little nooks and crannies in here. And kind of the same with this. You've got the, you know, the coffee gets into those little filter holes, and there's just places that are hard to reach. This part cleans up pretty good. But what I'll do when the timing works out is if I have a full load in the dishwasher, I'll just throw all of this into the dishwasher and put all the plastic parts up on the top rack. I'll go ahead and throw this in the dishwasher and then we can take a look at it when it comes out all nice and clean. So again, put all the plastic parts up on the top rack of your dishwasher. To keep this part can go anywhere and then you just want to set the pieces up so that the water can drain out and get in there good. Yeah, here you go. Right out of the dishwasher. You can see it cleans out all the uh, coffee residue. And then you can put your drip tray back together. Slide it back in there. Do that whenever the dishwasher is ready to run. And, and in the meantime, I just rinse it out. But that way, it makes a quick and easy way to clean that. Seems to be the only really good way to get all the nooks and crannies in there cleaned out. That does build up over time. I'll show you how I clean the upper part of the machine next time I run a cleaning cycle. If you have any other questions, uh, put that in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.